Hello, my name is Aaron Sito. I'm the director of Museum Machan and the curator of our newest exhibition, The Theatre of Me, featuring works by August Sawagi from the 1990s to now. In collaboration with Manuel, we are releasing a three-part video series that briefly unpacks a few of his key works which are on display in this exhibition. In this video, we will focus on his self-portrait series, in particular, The Daughter of Democrazy 1, 2, and three, which were created in 1996. As one of Indonesia's leading artists whose practice emerged in the lead up to the tumultuous social and political changes in mid 1990s Indonesia, Agus Suwagi's work is versatile in exploring the role and the responsibility of an artist in facilitating social critique. For around 25 years, the artist has created self-portraits that are a medium for self-criticism and understanding the complex relationships between human relations and national political power. Daughter of Democrazy is one of the earliest self-portraits in the exhibition, and it signals a recurring feature within his work, the use of his own body, the use of his own face and using symbols that relate to other artworks and to other types of artworks. So it's this mixing of ideas which is really important and fundamental in Swaggy's work. What we notice about this work is that he's talking about a number of things. He's talking about maybe the existential commentary on this, this massive change that's going on in, in the city. He's also talking about his new family. So his daughter had just been born also in 1996. This work was made at a time when Agus Suwagi was living in Jakarta. About the mid nineties, it was quite difficult to live in Jakarta. The city was chaotic. There were more protests happening on the street and he was also concerned for the student movement. So this work is commentary on evolution or that transition from new water into reformasi and the roles and the relationship and the symbolism that is all caught up within these three images is a clear reflection of that time. One thing that you will notice when you see the exhibition is the way in which Suwagi creates his paintings and the way that he creates meaning. It's often through referencing other time periods, referencing other people's work. In this work, we see it's quite a classical religious imagery that we see. We have the Pieta, we have the child, we have a, a standing saint. So it's a way of, for him to be able to allow us, the audience, to use our imagination to connect meaning from what we already understand of these symbolisms. Suwagi is really known as a painter, but I think what these particular works also illustrate is how clever he is at drawing and how he uses materials also in a strategic and symbolic way. So in the background, we see a landscape that has been devastated. The trees have been cut down and possibly the forests have been put on fire. So he's using a material charcoal to uh, recreate this scene. So connecting some of the thematics in it of the work, the thematics behind the work with the material that he's using to create the work. As much as these are commentaries on the political situation, they're also commentaries about hope and renewal. Um, but there perhaps they are warnings also about the impact of rampant development and expansion on the natural environment. And we see that in the backgrounds of these works. We're really lucky in this exhibition to be able to bring these three artworks together again. This is the first time that they have been reunited since their original uh, presentations. And it, they come from three collectors from across Indonesia. So this is one of the very exciting things that we can do as a museum. And something that really excites curators is when we can reunite artworks to be able to present them like this. Thank you for watching this video. The exhibition Agus Suwagi Theatre of Me runs from the 4th of June until the 15th of October, 2022. Please stay tuned for the second and third videos of this three-part series. For more information, head over to our website at www.museummachan.org or find us on Instagram at museummachan.